how important the jab is, and we've looked at the parry, the outside parry, which is a hand defense. What we're going to do now is add a counter punch. It's really important that you put fire back on the opponent. You can't always be passive, so if you've made that parry, you need to return fire. So we're going to look at a counter right hand. I'm going to demonstrate it for you and then explain it in a little bit more detail. So, attention to. Sean goes super slow on that jab. If you allow an opponent to keep on jabbing, they're going to be taking points, taking points, taking points. They might be setting up another power shot. So I need to disrupt that. I need to change his plans. So I move this outside hand defense, outside power, away from my jaw. Yeah, it's really important I don't get hit here. Then I drive off my back leg into Sean, throwing my rear hand back. Making sure that I've got good hip movement, that I'm turning my feet and turning my shoulder. So I've parried, I've moved it offline, and I've driven off the back foot, bang, right in there. It's really important that you disrupt his rhythm, that you don't allow him to keep jabbing. It's very important as well that you land with good solid power where you can. It's really important because it disrupts how he can move on you, it stops his game plan. So, what's an important thing you need to know about your feet? Let's stay static and then turn. What's an important thing you notice about your hips? Does it stay here or does it doesn't move into him? Is it important that you move the hand offline? These are all things that you might want to consider as you practice this slowly in your pairs and build up speed as you get confidence.